Just Desserts. My name is Renee Smith and this is Jamie Hendricks. Jamie, we have another game today and this one is called Blockus. Have you played Blockus? I've played but not very well. <laughs> well, it's kind of hard. So uh, again, we are looking at attributes or shapes and we're going to be looking at spatial reasoning and what we mean by spatial reasoning is how things fit together and how they lay out. This is our game board and it's full of squares and there are four different colored tiles that we play with and they are all different shapes and they contain different numbers of tiles in their shapes but there is one that is as small as one square and then there are ones that are much larger up to five I believe is the largest number of squares on any one shape now the object of the game is to be able to get rid of all of your color and if you can do it legally <laughs> and use the one as your very last piece you get a bonus number of points okay. so there's a special rule if you can hold this one to the very end and be able to place it on the board legally then you're going to score extra points so I'm just using one color you would just be using one color however it really does need four players, so we're going to look at this as uh, these two are my colors and these two are your colors, and we're going to play two different colors. Okay. okay. The first rule is that you must place a piece. It can be any one of your pieces, and it must cover the corner square. That's the beginning move. And so I'm going to place this one as mine, and you're going to place one of your colors in a corner, and then I'll Do I we'll have alternate. to play... Are these going to be my corners? Actually, no. Let's go around the board. And so we'll we'll kind of be against each other that way. Okay. So you have to cover your corner square up there. Up here. Yeah, that'll work. And so these I'll, are opposite corners are going to be mine? Right. And these opposite corners are going to be mine. So I'm going to place that one. I'm going to cover the corner square for yellow. And you get to cover the corner square for red. Now. Oh, man. I was... Oh, nope. look, want, at, look at her go. I, I don't want, want to that be different. One. No, okay. I want to have something different in every single corner. Okay. I want to see how different it can be. Okay. You just make sure you have to place it so that, there you go. Okay. We've covered the corner square. Now, I would go next with blue, and here's the deal. When I place this one, it has to touch the, the, the vertice or the corner of, of blue. So I can't lay it right next to and, and cover a, a face. I would either have to place it here because it touches a corner or here because it touches a corner or this way or I could come up here and touch a corner. Okay. Now what I'm trying to do is, and it's tough at first, you're right when you said you've played it and it's tough, uh, is I'm trying to carve out as much area for myself on my blue and now that I'm playing yellow, I'm going to try to carve out as much of the area on this board in yellow so that I can always touch a corner because that's the object of the game. I can't touch the edge of my own. I can touch the edge of one of your colors or okay. my other yellow. So I want to monopolize it. You want to try to get as much area saved off for yourself as you can. Okay. And I'm not really going here with a lot of strategy. I'm just trying to figure out a way to, to hog the board right now. Now, there is some strategy involved because some of your bigger pieces you want to try to use up because while there's a lot of space mm -hmm. out there on the board, you want to use those big pieces. Okay, we're back to blue. So, I'm just going to keep going here. So, is Blockus... Because you're blocking uh -huh, others. And you're, and you're blocking them because eventually, if you've done a good job, they don't have enough room to put their pieces anymore. And so you just keep going and alternating turns that way. Let's see. Again, we're looking at different shapes and characteristics, and this is just really great for spatial reasoning, and which helps out in geometry. Hmm. Do you have this game at home? Is that where you've played it before? No, I played it with some, some kids when I was working with them. Cool. Let's see. I think and they were much better at it than I was. Uh, uh, well, they're probably better at it than I am, too, because I'm just kind of guess doing this by guessing by gosh right now. Hmm. Okay. 
It's kind of hard when you're trying to think about two different colors two. and not just your own color. Um, so is it a bad thing that I've met up with myself? Absolutely. Well, that's really not you. That that's the other True. player that you're playing for. So, so do you think your kids at home would like this? I think so. Well, it might be pretty ugh, frustrating. It's already starting to get hard, isn't it? And we haven't put even half of our pieces on there. But you can see how uh, you have to really start to think about the direction you turn the pieces, which one you're going to choose next, and trying to fit them on the board as they start to all merge out in the middle. There's a lot of things to think about. Yeah, and the cool thing is, over time, because you do have to touch just a corner of yours, sometimes you can manage to squeeze through somebody else's area, but not very often, once they've got it blocked off. I think you I think you should try this one at home and I would even let you borrow my game. I think How, I might have to. All right. Well, thank you for joining us on Just Desserts. You can find out more information about our games on My Kids Turn.